Ah, uh, yes, the Rangers. Proof that even the failure is bigger in Texas. Grab your popcorn. It's time to open the history books of pain and misery. The Rangers are born as the reincarnation of the Washington Senators, a team that did not enjoy much success in their short stint in the majors. They pick up where the previous iteration left off, spending the majority of the 60s in the basement of the league. Fans enjoy ownership hot potato and incompetent management. You need a big hire to get you out of this mess. Go and get Ted Williams as your manager. Hopefully he can turn it around. And, oh wow, you got an 86 win season. Good job, you don't suck anymore. Turns out Ted Williams doesn't like managing. Back to the basement. New owner Bob Short has a plan though. Let's throw a bunch of money at Denny McLean. He is as terrible as the team is. He openly clashes with Williams. His arm is shot, and he has a 22 loss season. McLean and the rest of the garbage team uh, reward you with 96 losses. New owner Bob Short has a plan, though. You're going to Arlington. The final game in D.C. is a total disaster. Thousands of fans walk in free of charge because security didn't give a crap. Fans loot the field of all their possessions before the game ends. Leave a lasting first impression when Texas with a hundred lost seasons back to back. It's time to draft the ace of the future, number one overall. His name is David Clyde. We don't need to develop him at 18. Let's rush him straight to the majors. And you screwed him up. Good job, Texas. You know who can get you to the promised land? New owner Brad Corbett. It's time to throw money at everything that moves. And this spending leads you into total mediocrity. Oh my gosh, a 94-win season. You don't come close to making the playoffs. Have fun throwing away your best season ever with four different managers, boys. One of whom quit after one game. And this spending still leads you into mediocrity. Oh, look at that. You're half... You're almost there. You can win the division in the first half. Oh, there's a player strike and you finished in second. Oh, well, you can still win it in the second half. And you play like garbage. No playoffs once again. I know it will make us happy. Trade away longtime catcher Jim Sunberg. That won't make the fans mad at all. Dave Stewart, star pitcher for the Rangers, has just been arrested for doing some weird things. Charlie Huff has a perfect game going into the ninth inning. Nothing can screw this up. But the Rangers find a way to screw it up anyway. And you are still incredibly mediocre. It's time to draft, or not draft, it's time to get a new star to do the face of the team. His name is Nolan Ryan. Now it's time to get a new owner, George W. Bush. Yeah, that's a lot better than moving to Tampa Bay. And you are still mediocre, but it looks like you've turned a corner as you're getting a little bit better. Yeah, this Sammy Sosa guy is terrible. Let's trade him. Like, just look at all this talent you got. An elite pitching core led by Ryan and Kevin Brown. Juan gone. Rafi Palmero. Julio Franco. You are due for playoffs now. And let's look at hot new acquisition Jose Canseco. Hmm, sounds like a lot of the Rangers personnel decisions over the years. Oh, they're sending out Jose Canseco to pitch, huh? It's a blow. Nothing bad can come out of this. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean that kind of blowout. Oh, look at this. Robin Ventura tries to kill Nolan Ryan, and Nolan Ryan gives him a bunch of noogies. This is the best moment in your franchise's history. You should make a statue outside of that sweltering hot stadium of yours. Kenny Rogers throws a perfect game. You still don't do good in that season. R.A. Dickey is a hot prospect. You should draft the man. Oh, but he doesn't have a vital ligament for pitching. And, oh my gosh, you made the playoffs! You've won a playoff game! Yay! And the hangover lasts for far too long. You lose your next three games to the Yankees. Two of them being at home. Congratulations. Oh, by the way, how's that Sammy Sosa guy doing? It's not like he's battling Mark McGuire for the most home runs in a season right now. <laughs> 1998, oh my gosh, you made the playoffs once again, and you get swept by the Yankees. Oh, hopefully you can do better next season. Nope, another sweep by the Yankees. At least you won 95 games so far, and this is great. Oh, and it's time to throw an exorbitant buttload of money to A-Rod. 
That's double the contract of the previous richest contract in MLB history. And all our pitching's been god-awful. Let's sign Price, free agent, Chan Ho Park to a big deal. He becomes regurgitated puppy chow in Texas. Oh, and now uh, A-Rod's contract has become an albatross on the team. He hates management, and it's time to trade him for our new star, Alfonso Soriano. Oh, we're getting good again, Bo, but we can't quite make it over the hump to get back to the playoffs. You know, oh, wait, let's see how Kenny Rogers is doing in his return to Arlington. What a gentleman. And it's time to chip off that Soriano guy. He could be improved upon. And those Chris Young and Adrian Gonzalez guys, we don't need them either. Turns out they become things you desperately need. Oh, let's atone for past mistakes. Let's bring back Slam and Sammy. At least you get a 600th home run, but you are still incredibly mediocre. Oh, new owner Tom Hicks seeking to force a sale to Nolan Ryan, and he files Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Good job, Tom. Oh my gosh, you made the playoffs out of nowhere. You've won a playoff series. Yay! And you take out those Yankees for once. You're going to the World Series. You're facing a team with a long championship drought in the Giants. It's your time to shine. And oh, it's your time to whimper and get smothered by them in five games. Don't worry, next year you'll make it over the hump. What did I say? You made it back to the World Series. Those arrogant Cardinals will be no match for the Rangers machine. All right, you're down to your final strike. You've got this. Into right well hit back at the wall. It's off the wall. One run scores. Here comes Berkman. Freeze has tied at 7-7. Seven, seven. Unbelievable. Oh, David Freeze owns you now. All right, that's okay. It's only game six. Somebody can save you. There's a shot into right back at the track at the wall. Hamilton has gone deep. Josh Hamilton has just saved your butt. Now don't choke the bottom of the tenth, please. In the air to right center, this game is tied. <sighs> you were one strike away, twice, and you couldn't get it done. All right, it's David Freeze. You'll be okay. He's not owning you like the Yankees. Freeze hits it in the air to center. We will see you tomorrow night. David Freeze completely owns you, and we have to go to a game seven in St. Louis. Please don't screw it up. And you proceed to screw it up. What a choke job. Oh, next year you make it to the wild card. Oh, but you get embarrassed at home by the Orioles. You blew it. And you make it next year to the playoffs. Well, not the playoffs. You get a game 163 with the Tampa Bay Rays, and they smother you in Arlington as well. Turns out you didn't decide to choke away in October. You chose to do it all season long. You spend more time on the IR than winning. Oh, my goodness. You made it back to the playoffs. You take in the first two games in Toronto with a chance to sweep at home in game three. Let's go. And you whimper in game three. All right, game four, you're playing with house money. You can do it. And Derek Holland proceeds to do terrible. All right, now you got to go to Canada. Oh, seven innings, you're leading in Canada. All you got to do is not choke. Oh, three straight errors by Elvis Andrus. Oh, it's okay. Just get Joey Bats out and regroup in the eighth. Bautista with a drive deep left field. No doubt about it. Joey Bautista seems to destroy your hopes and dreams. Oh, I guess there's always next year. And Root Neto Dora is out for blood, as Joey Bautista has somehow broken an unwritten rule about throwing his bat. At least you've won the moral battle. And you make it back to the playoffs as the top seed in the AL, but the Blue Jays get revenge and sweep you. Congratulations. Adrian Beltre gets his 3,000th hit. You also lose that game. Sam Dyson, the closer, forgets how to throw baseball. Hmm. And now you want to get the city of Arlington to give you a bunch of money so you can build a new stadium because it just gets so hot in Texas. And in 2018, Jeff Bannister is fired and you finish with 67 wins and one of your worst records in franchise history. And Adrian Beltre is gone now. And you start construction on that new ballpark. Hopefully it'll be nicer. And in 2019, you are a mid-pack team as Chris Woodward leads you to an okay season. And you got Lance Lynn and Mike Miner, so don't give them away. And you proceed to give away both of them and the ring or the shortened 
60-game season because of the COVID-19 pandemic ends in total disaster as you cannot recover from your bad team and get 22 wins. And in 2021, Chris Woodward proceeds to lead the team to a 102-loss season. Joey Gallo is shipped off to the Yankees where he has to shave his beard. Oh, and let's also trade away two of our other good players there, too. But it's not over yet. We have signed Corey Seager and Marcus Simeon to gargantuan deals. They are going to be the future of this team. And so far in 2022, you have won 20 more games than I have expected you to. But your 2.7 odds to make the postseason is not looking too good. And Marcus Simeon's contract is looking like an albatross already. But don't worry, you've got Josh Jung. And a hot new pitcher and Jack Leiter coming up through the system. You'll make the World Series in a couple years. And if you do get there, please don't choke again. That was the Rangers. Entire franchise history in a, in a few minutes. I hope you enjoyed. And if you're a Rangers fan like me, I hope we will suffer no longer.